Hi, here I am this month with our Rosie's Moments um, yarn box, wool box, subscription box. And this month's theme is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. She's been following a Beatrix Potter, Potter theme all the way through, which has been really cool. So if you're a fan, it's a perfect one for you. And this one we've got here, as you can see, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's nose went sniffle, snuffle, and her eyes went twinkle, twinkle. And there's a little picture, and obviously we have some word in there, which I'm not going to read now. So I'm going to pop that to one side already open the top of the box so let's see what's in here first of all let's move the tissue paper if I'll, oh, I'll pull that bit out i can't pull that bit out and instantly we can see the yarn that we've got this month and how wonderful is that it has come undone a little bit mine but i'll sort that out because i've got to roll it into a ball anyway not my favorite job but it's well worth it just look at that I mean, those of you who know me know where this yarn's going. This is going to be for dolly things. Um, I don't usually do the garment side of things for people. It's all dolls for me, I'm afraid. But that, it feels lovely. I know, like I say, it's come undone. I shouldn't really do that. But can you see those colours? Love the pinks and the greens and the grey. Probably my three favourite colours in there. Uh, green, grey and pink. A deep pink, I like a deep pink, not a light pink, but that is gorgeous. And we've got a lovely big skein there, which let's see if I can twist it. I'm really rubbish at doing this. I've undone it a little bit too much now, so I am going to have... No, that's not going to work, is it? I'm just making a mess here. Right, I'm going to have to roll that up pretty quick, I think, to actually, so it doesn't get tangled, because there's nothing worse than you've got a beautiful yarn, it gets tangled, you get frustrated, you end up losing half the yarn, so... Look after your yarns. I'll pop that to one side. And there's lots of other little bits in here. So we've got a little tin first. What's the little tin? The little tin actually has a Peter Rabbit on. Because as I said, the whole set that she's doing through the year is Beatrix Potter themed. So we've still got Peter coming in there. We've got to, haven't we? You know, he's, he's the main guy. Oh, and in the little tin, I'm going to pop the lid down so I can show you. Number one, we have a little Mrs. Diggy Winkle batch. Number two, we have a magnet, so we have a needle holder there. I didn't know what these were when I got my first one, which is terrible, but they are great. I mean, I do use mine all the time now to just so I don't lose those needles and they just stick on. In fact, my tin, I keep my needles in, is tin, obviously, and it sticks to that and then the needles stick to it, so it's great, so they're brilliant. And this looks adorable. We have a little hedgehog stitch marker. Now I'm going to try and do this slow so you can see. I'm slowly getting less and less blurry with things. Can you see that cute little face? I hope you can. I can't quite see my camera there, so I'm not 100% sure what you can see. So you can go any closer. He's so cute. Everybody loves a little hedgehog. Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm going to pop them back in the tin so I don't lose them because they're only tiny bits. Oh, we have a little treat ready for that cup of tea later. Who can resist? Pop that over there. I'm dying to get in this box, but I want to do everything else first. We have, oh, look at this. This is good. Um, for all fine washables. So this is going to be great for actually washing your socks if you're making socks. Or if it's something else, obviously, of those sizes or something a little bit more delicate. Um, all the information is on there. Let's have a look. Oh, it. Uh, oh you can also get it in eucalyptus grapefruit and lavender that sounds quite nice might be worth having a look what that is online not something i've seen before but sometimes you do need to be a little bit more delicate so that's going to be worth a look at so let's see what else we've got our little tags which as you know if you've seen my other videos i'm collecting them all together and ultimately going to be making a collage so all these paper bits are perfect for me um, if you're a card maker or paper crafter of any sort, these are just too perfect. So again, we have a little Mrs. Tiggy Winkle tag. So we've got two tags there and we've got this lovely card. There she is. Again, that go. Oh, and what we got in here? And I have some tea to go with my biscuits. So guess what I'm going to be doing after this? I like Earl Grey tea as well, so that's a good one for me. So we've got a lovely card there. Again, you can use it as a gift card, birthday card, or you can use the actual picture for scrapbooking or anything like that as well for yourself when it does come with an envelope. So if you want to send it to somebody, it's ready there for you. So I'm going to pop them to one side. We have a dolly peg. 
something tells me there is something in the story, but off the top of my head, I've gone completely blank and I can't work out why. I'm going to have to have a little look later. I've got all the books. Um, I've got the DVDs, things like that. So I really ought to need, but yes, that, that sticks in my mind. I'm trying to look at some of the other pictures she's given me. If any of that gives us a clue. No, I mean, obviously Dolly Peg washing, her pegging washing out, things like that, possibly. Right, I'm, I'm still waiting to go in there. I'm not going in it yet. I'm going to make you wait. Right, this, as usual, we get a gorgeous sock pattern in every month. And again, as I have said, I'm not a knitter. I'm not going to be doing these. But I have got friends and family that do enjoy doing things like this and do still do a lot of knitting. So it's a gorgeous sock. It's got a little cable pattern. I don't think you'll be able to see it properly on there, but it's got a really nice, and it's called Earl Grey. Hence, we've got the link there with our Earl Grey tea bags. So that looks lovely. It's by, let's have a look. It says, Stephanie Pearl McGee goes on and on about knitting. So it is clearly a page that might be worth having a look at for you knitters. There's the graph there for the actual cable. Let me see. I'm just trying to see if there's any, yeah information at the back regarding the person who did it i think what you'd have to do is look up it says yarn harlot i hope i'm reading that right otherwise <laughs> it sounds a bit rude but i'm pretty sure that is an r because that's an r so yarn harlot please have a look especially if you like your socks this is perfect they've got the different sizes as well there's men's sizes there as well so that that is really good but again, not something I'm going to be using, but still worthwhile. Everything else is just worth it for me anyway. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Shall we see what's in this box? Which way does the box open? The box is quite heavy. Um, this way, I think. In fact, let me get rid of the big box. And let's just look in the little box. What do you think it is? I have absolutely no idea. It's got some weight to it. It is a drinking vessel of some sort. As you can see, you've got your soft cup. So let me slide it out. And we have got a portable drinking coffee cup, tea cup, whatever you decide your beverage is. That's got some weight to it. That's nice, that. That is lovely. Um, again, as you know, you can take the tops off. I always take the tops off anyway. I'm not one of these that can sip through this bit. I know for safety, if you did have it sort of walking around with it, you don't want to spill. That's what it's about, but I just can't drink through them. I do actually have to drink through the actual cup itself. So you've got a gorgeous cup there as well. Um, let's have a look. Righty-ho, it says. And that's the cup there. I'm going to go through everything now and lay it out so you can see it. So let's make sure I can get that all in view. We've got our gorgeous little cards and our little notey bits. And we have our little peg that I need to investigate please let me know if you know i'm sure it's got to be something to do she does she's like pegging out washing and things like that i'm sure that's the link but if you actually already know without me researching just send me a message and i'll have a look and then we have this cute little tin with peter on and the contents of our tin we have a needle holder we have one of our little badges to go with my others and this absolutely cute little face of a stitch marker I've got my tea for later. I have some wool washing product. It feels just like a squishy, so I presume it's just like a liquid. Just as it's natural, this one, so I presume it's got no sort of odour. But might be worth looking for the company to see whether it is something that would be useful for you, especially if you are working with a lot of delicate yarns rather than just your basic chunky acrylics. So I'll pop that one there. Obviously, we have our pattern. So I'm just going to pop the pattern there because for me, the most important thing of this box is the yarn. And I suspect for most of you, it would be the rest is just a bonus. It's just a little treat. So this poor ball, the oh well, this poor skein, should I say, that I've gone and undone. And I really shouldn't have because I've made a bit of a pig's ear. I'm trying to think. I, I do know how to do this. I have done it before. I'm trying to get those bits. So let's have a look. No, that's not right, is it? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to pull it through there anyway. Look, I've made some strange little ball there, but at least it's keeping it neat until I actually sit down and roll it all up. Let's move that out of the way because you can't see the yarn. So again, let's have a good look at this lovely yarn. These greens and greens. I just think the colour combination is perfect. 
it will definitely definitely make some really nice stuff i think i might actually make something for my smart doll my larger doll for this uh, which it does take a lot more yarn but i think this would be a lovely top or even a dress i think it would look absolutely gorgeous on her because she is a larger doll so she does take quite a lot of yarn so i think that's perfect so i'll pop that one there so overall you can see everything i've got in this month's box and again i think it's a bargain i absolutely love it but you do need to make sure you check on our website not our etsy now if you're wanting to do these i will put the link up for you as well because the beatrix theme potter theme is going to carry on throughout the year so definitely worth a look and you don't have to commit to the year you can just buy it as it goes you've just got to keep an eye on our website to know which date and which product she's actually on at the moment and apart from this her other gorgeous yarns that are on there so please have a look i'm sure you will enjoy treating yourself to something on there so i hope you enjoyed that it is literally just come by the postman so i've run upstairs to open it straight away uh, i'm going to try and tidy this poor po <laughs> this poor skein of uh, wool up so i can take a photograph of it next and hope to see you soon so please if you've enjoyed it like subscribe and share and we will be back with you very soon thank you Bye.